How you doing everybody? Hope you are keeping well. We intro for today's episode. Finally got to catch up with Graham Armstrong, author of The Young Team. Um, if you've not read it yet, um, please, please get it on your, your reading list. It is such a good book. Um, very random chat. We kind of discuss a lot of things on the, the episode today. Um, he's a great guy. He talks through... Obviously, the, the inspiration behind the young team. We talk about the second book. He's doing a load of stuff in film and TV just now as well. So, as a as a really good episode. Um, big thanks as always to Paul at Let Me Repair for the ongoing sponsorship and support. And we've also got Common Youth Clothing still providing some sponsorship in there as well. Check out their website if you're looking for any clothing just now. You can get a wee discount if you put Glasgow Podcast in your the password bit on the shopping cart uh, and thanks as always to Paul at the Green Room production is spot on as usual let us know what you think of the episode guys and hit the wee subscribe button cheers Graham buzzing that you're here mate thanks for I know having I, me. I've stopped you for about two months now <laughs> but I've finally got it done um, how are you doing how's, good, how's life all good mate I uh, I was busy mate finishing book two so been manic do you know what so many of the questions I've had break into everything to David with a young team, but there's so many about the second book. I've got so many ideas that folk have gave me for books <laughs> past the second one as well. You've got aspiring agents out there that are just sending aye, me shit aye. like, tell me do this, or does he thought about this? I was like, ah, mate, I'll pass it on, man. Don't know if he'll do it. <laughs> um, the young team, obviously, it's everywhere. You, you, you go online, you do a, anytime I've got somebody on, I always do my research and that, and see if you just put it into Google, man, it's fucking colossal. Mad, it? Mate, it's mad. You is don't it, expect is it, it. Do you still find it mad, Aye, like, even the new? Aye, mate. You don't ex- I don't expect that, do you know what I mean? Like, I was at an event, right, uh, Angry Young Men Premier, right, mm-hmm. and it was at the after party, and I seen this wee lassie kind of hovering, right? She obviously wanted to come and say, all right, Aye. she comes up, man, she's nervous to talk to me. I'm like, don't need to be nervous to talk to me, you know what I mean? I'm just like, I'm a guy fair dressed, you know what I mean? And she's like, all right. And she's like, oh, my brother's just coming out of jail and all that. And let's see above all the hubbub and all that. You have these wee quiet moments with people when they come Aye. and talk about their life and all that. It's a powerful, mate. And I was like, let's send them a wee book, you know what I mean? It'll be there waiting when he gets out, so. Love that. See wee things like that. Yeah, that's, the, that's what matters, man. That's the, 100%. That's the privilege of this. 100%. It's not about all the razzmatazz and the fucking the nonsense, you know Aye. what I mean? It's, you stay wee moments. Nice touching, man. Where did the inspiration come from to write it? Life, mate. My own life. No. Mm-hmm. Make a mess of my life, you know what I mean? Just Aye. going around roads and like scraping into university. And mm-hmm. we were talking about imposter syndrome, you know what I mean? But I had imposter syndrome even got to university. Like, you had to apply, you know that, right? And everybody knocked me back, Glasgow, you know, and all that. And they're like, no chance. Aye. And I was waiting in one for Stirling. Mm-hmm. And then they gave us a conditional and they're like, you could go and mate. Telling a wee guy it's like fucking 17, Aye. drug addict, big Ned, you know what I mean? That he could go to university, it was like a mad dream, man. So that was a dream for me, do you know what I mean? So then the rest, mate, just took years. That was like 16, 17. And when you, obviously reading the book and, and as he's the main character in it, is that solely down to your life experiences? Just no, man, based on no. stuff you've kind of seen? It's a drama, man. You right. can dance everything, right? And like, honestly, like, you know, anybody that's been in a young team knows, man. It's right. like a full time job. <laughs> <laughs> it is, man. It's like a full time job, <clears throat> right? And for me, right, I get expelled from school, right, in Airdrie, right, mm-hmm. Airdrie Academy when I was fourteen, right, and then I went to Coatbridge High. So it was like a whole new chapter in my life, right? right. It was like before and after. So I was an Airdrie boy, right, a Mavis one, and there was all the Airdrie young teams, and right. then I was new in the middle of the Coatbridge young team soup. Know what I mean? And it was a lot worse than there. So a lot of the actual young team stuff Aye. came from Coat Bridge. Do you know what I mean? Whereas the other day it was full of fucking heat bangers and <laughs> nutcases, you know what I mean? But the actual gang warfare thing wasn't as bad. But Coat Bridge was fucking Vietnam, man. <laughs> did did you was. find it hard going for Airdrie too? Oh, mate. I, I, do you know what? I, wasn't, I hadn't even thought about it, right? I'd been expelled, right? Aye. I'd been sitting for three months, right? And I don't mean like kind of soft expelled. Aye. It was like, you're expelled. You know what I mean? Gone. You're at the, <laughs> the Kildonan Street in North Lancashire <laughs> Council getting interviewed and all that for a new school, right? It was a big deal, man. Social worker and all that generates, right? So I a social worker coming to my mum's house and all that. It was heavy, right? Aye. And um, I, my mate, was like, ah, I think he'd been watching Prison Break at the time, right? And he's like, ah, mate, see if you get in that fucking school and any cunt gives you cheat, you better smash him and all that. And I, 
only then did I get nervous, right? I was like, fuck's sake, sir. I was like, it's no jail, you know what I mean? So I was cool. He's like, no, mate, cunts will have a go and all that. So I started getting nervous, right? And it was funny because I started the week before the Christmas break, right? So I turned up and there was nobody there. I was, I was hanging about with these two tidy birds all week, man. Just walking about the school. <laughs> end up kissing one of them, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that was that, right? So I was, but then as when all the idols come back in Aye. January, right? Fuck, it was frost, man. Everybody's like, who you're on about with and all that. And I turned to the own own boys, right? Because right. I friends are friends and family. Mm-hmm. Um, I, so then I just became a Langlon man. So, but they were, they were hated, but rated, you know what I mean? They were massive. So where the time capsule is, that full schemes, lying on. So, right, right, so I know we are. I came some of my best pals, you know what I mean? Went on a new mission, you know what I mean? And I was doing there all the time, dogging school every day, doing there, getting full of it, and it was mental, man. So it's, it's that amalgamation. Aye. What was was, that, see, if you, see if you go into that school, and obviously you're, you're still boozing in that, you're still hanging about in a gang in that. What was the tipping point for you? What changed? What? Like, to think to go to uni and all to, that? D- not even so much uni, but just to kind of, something's got to change for me. Oh, there was like, different moments. I think different moments, man. I think like, when I, like when I thought I might, uh, reading train spot at night was the Aye. first one. That was a big change, right? Aye. That's actually when I was like, I care about this. And like, I didn't care about nothing. Mm-hmm. I was one of the people I just gave up, man. I pressed the button, 16 Aye. year old. I was dying and all that, right? Everything to chaos, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I was just part of that. And then once I read train spot and my life started to change because I, I cared about something, you know what I mean? Aye. It's like a hopes of the thing that kills you and all Aye. that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I was like, fuck, I'm going to stay on, man. I'm not going to leave, right? That was a big decision, right? Coming back, Aye. obviously. And then after that, uh, <laughs> failing my first hire exam, it was a date, it was the 15th of May, right. 2008. 14th of May, Rangers, obviously, fucking in Manchester, right? So I was mad with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I fucked it, man. I, I walked in and even though I was full of, like, I was, I wanted to try, you know that. Aye. I completely fucked it, man. I got an F, right? I was fucking upside down, right? Aye. So I didn't know, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right? But the failing, man, was important, you know what I mean? Because I was like, I came back not determined. Mm-hmm. And the way they picked the classes, right? Because I was a fail, a fail now, right? They just stuck me in a daft class, man. We had a daft teacher and all the Aye. six-year cunts that were not even, they were just there to fucking fuck about. Aye. So, it's like an educational hierarchy, you know what I mean? I was mm-hmm. like the boat, mate. Aye. Mate, I dug in, man. I dug my heels in and I got into uni, man. So I scraped in with the like, fucking skin of my teeth. And that was a massive moment, you know what I mean? Aye. And at that point, did you have, when you'd failed your, your hires, did you have teachers that were kind of, I told you so at that point, or did you have both, teachers man. that were backing you? They're both, man. Like, aye. like I, one of the teachers, just like, what are you even staying on for? And I was just like, you're a waste of space, basically. And I'm like, I, I, no, man, I want to do it, man. Honestly, She's I'm going like to kick do it. the teeth to you it as was, well. Man. It was, it was harsh, man. But I was like, no, man, I'm going to do it, right? And see Aye. this particular teacher, right? See when she heard, she obviously seen my result. Mm-hmm. She walked past me, mate, caught me right in the eye and winked. She just went, like, you know what I mean? Just to say, fuck you, right? And I was raging, man. I was, she was like kicking me when I was done, man. I was like, no chance, man. No chance. I swear to God, I was hitting the books, mate. I was actually sitting reading books, right? And doing it Aye. and smashing it. And fucking, I remember one day, right, there was all sorts of fucking fighting going on and all that with all the younger ones that I hung about with, or gay doing all that. And I was trying to do it, man. Aye. Right, and it was one of these times and I had an exam writing. I'm sitting, man, pure reading a book before I went into the exam writing to my pals walk past and they're like, are you reading that book, sir? What are you doing? What <laughs> I mean, reading books and all that. And I was like, fuck you, man, I need to do this. And I passed, man, I got an A and I'd be in a C. So and I pulled, I just scraped in, man, you know what I mean? So... It was a big moment, mate. No, I mean, my head teacher, man, Coach Carter. He was, man. He was like Coach Carter, bro. And is the that you? Uh, is guy. that the Mr. McGyver? Aye, man. Aye, the real guy, man. That's fucking amazing, brilliant. sir. He knew, man. He just when I walked into his office, right, age fourteen, pure attitude, and all that, mm-hmm. right, mera peak on the fucking Aye. earrings, and all that, sat, and he's, he's just, he's like, <laughs> he just shook his head, man. He's like, you've got to be pop yard in here, son. <laughs> Let me tell you, son. If you think your dress bad, it's fucking you're at the frying pan into fire. Right. Honestly, man, right at the very end, right, that was the first time we ever met, right? And then, right, the very last thing, right, he read my exam results and he went into the staff room. And another teacher told me this, right? He slammed it down the table, right, in front of all the teachers that wanted he's expelled. And all that. He's like, There's your boy you threw away, right? He's got to start on university, start the English. What do you think of that? He showed you off. That's amazing, isn't it? Aye. I feel like greeting, man, when I tell you that. Story. It's, it's the thing is, as well, though, it's just killed, man. It's the polar <clears throat> opposite for that other teacher, and that other teacher could have swayed you. I know, man. Staying on, do you know what I mean? You could have just left and fucking. <clears throat> How many young guys listen to people when they tell them that? I didn't listen, Aye. man. It just pissed me off. That's why I done it, because I was Aye. angry. You know what I mean? I was, a, I was an act of rebellion against people. That's mental. I mean. And it's probably still happens in schools as well, oh, where folk totally, just go, man. oh, fucking write them off. 
Mate, we were last at Armour, man, right? A tracksuit, a mare peak, right? A uniform, a camouflage, right. right? And all the young boys, they don't wear that anymore. They wear, like, roadman stuff, you know what I mean? Aye. They wear, like, fucking bomber jeans, just all that, whatever. Right? But they're just trying to tell the world that they're tough and they're not they're no frightened, Aye. they're party something. That's what teachers, man, it's a convincing performance. It's an Oscar-worthy performance. Aye. You're not slapping anybody, you know what I mean? No. No, I mean, no. So, yeah, I don't know. And did you find it hard letting go of the kind of hanging about with the boys and that and doing all that kind of stuff? You, you hide it, man, do you know what I mean? You Aye. hide it, you know what I mean? Like, I think it was like, you know, like, kink in the armour in some ways, man. Aye. Like, my, my maddest pals are one that go to jail and all that. They blacked. He goes to uni and all that, man. He's a fucking gimp, you know what I mean? You took, a, you took a new path, man. Mm -hmm. You just need to take that on the chin, don't you, man? Because you're, you're doing something different. Aye. People are suspicious if you do something different here. Aye, it's it's that thing in, and we'll talk about it before we started, the, the kind of Scottish thing of, if you, if you split off, you get that kind of, who, do, who does he think he is? 100%. Rather than just going, fair fucks, man. But the funny thing is, we're thinking that about ourselves, you know what I mean? Aye. Like, I was sitting thinking about Aye. myself. Like, fuck. I, think I was swaggering about Erdogan Co. Bridge, right? Looking like a ticket, man. Maybe seen me, like, fucking scared to go and sit, walk into my uni kitchen, man. Say, right to cunts, because you're Aye. just pure fucking nervous as fuck, you know what I mean? You have lots of moments like that that are unseen, you know? 100%. And that's the, that, that's the path to freedom, man. Mm -hmm. Feel that? How um, do your pals look at it now? Oh, mate, it's just accepted now, do you know what right. I mean? Like, it's just part of the fucking fabric, isn't it? It's just too do you young. get any of them that are like, I knew you are going to, knew you are going to go and make it? I think all of them said that. Aye. I think they all knew, man. They could just see you change, you know what I mean? Aye. Especially getting off drugs and alcohol, man. I think my pals mm. knew how bad I was, man. Especially Aye. some of them, man, that are, that are as bad, if mm. not still bad. They're amazed, mate, because they just, they're like, how the fuck do you do it, man? How do you Aye. change? How do you get off it? Or, you know? do, you, do you think it was the uni that was the big change, or do you think... There was other things that got you away from the kind of drugs and all that. And me, I don't think uni made a bit. Of, in fact, I think uni made it worse. Right. Because we were now like in a place where it's actually all accepted and Aye. encouraged to drink, Aye. man. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, and all these middle class wins are like drinking first Bacardi breezers and all that, and seeing <laughs> angels. And you know what I mean? Getting fucking emotional here. And we are, me and my mate, the fucking nights with are sitting. Two are like veterans, <laughs> drug addicts. You know what I mean? Aye. He's been stabbed and all that. And so I was still to be stabbed. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Later on. It was a completely different experience. By handed a student loan, a two drug addict sitting in a room full of cunts boozing. We just went hard on it. Got even worse. I was full of boys the full year, man. I was fucking upside down. Depressed at my head, man. Just staying up all night, fucking gubbing boys. Aye. Just mental, man. What changed it for you? Faith, bro. Aye. 100%. Aye. Way to church, man. Christmas, right? That was like breaking point. That was my last year, right? So mm -hmm. I was 21, right? Right. And fucking, I was at crisis point, man. Been in IB for that summer, getting full, right? And then come back, right? And just upside down, taking boys all the time. Smoking 50 pound a green a day. Don't know where I go. Cunts are like, where'd you get the money? I'm like, I don't know, man. Aye. Just manifest it, you know what I mean? As you do. <clears throat> Selling drugs sometimes Aye. as well. You might be fucking manage. And then just crisis point, bro. Aye, Aye man. Cr Christmas Eve, so it was. Told that story loads, man. But just hot, hot crisis, man. Mm -hmm. Couldn't go on, mate. You know what I mean? And Aye. then instead of going to the trips, I went to church with my mom, man. It just it was a life, it was a light bulb moment, bro. You just changed for there. Aye, it was life changing. How was the the thing that struck me for reading the book was see the relationship he had with his ma, and then when I'd read a couple of things that interviews that you'd done, it's it's so similar. I suppose your mum was probably in the background thinking, fucking hell, what's he doing now? But you're in that zone, you're, you're just out and fucking... I think my mom was at her, cunts are like, did your mom know? <laughs> did my mom know? Fuck, of course, you know, I was Aye. fucking a drug addict. You can't even know, know if you're not a fucking drug addict. I'm stealing half you all the time and fucking giving you need dogs abuse. Aye. I wasn't a very nice guy, do you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to live with somebody with addiction, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but she was at her wits end, man. She used to say I used to pray every night and all that. And fucking, but honestly, man, we walked to the church that night, I felt something had changed me. I felt like a different guy and I said to her, man, oh, that's it, man, I'm done. Mm -hmm. She turned it all before me. Aye. See me, I'm all looks at you, man, and they're Aye. just exasperated and they just don't believe you anymore. You're just a liar. You're an mm -hmm. old liar, you know what I mean? And I was like, honestly, but this time, something's different. I mm -hmm. promise you. I never took drugs again, bro. It was like that. It went like that, right? For everyday use. Aye. Right? You're just nothing, man. And I'm not saying that was easy, mate. That was just Aye. a catalyst, man. It was fucking mm -hmm. months of graft, right? And just Aye. and socially distanced, mate. I just I didn't see anybody. That's what I was going to ask. Like, I suppose one of the bigger challenges was that your social circle at that point. And 100%. Trying I to thought, I, actually, man, I, one weekend, right, that last time, 
I opened that drawer, man, and there's fucking a, a quarter of fucking solid. Right. We all smoked green, I must have got that, and I tucked away, right? Aye. And I was like, oh, no, man. And mm-hmm. I just phoned my pal and I'm got up here, man, take this off me, right? Like, just take that. You aye. know what I mean? I've got skins and fags and all that, aye. just take it all, man. So I just, aye, so I gave it all away, and that was that, man. Up to date, mate, when you open your choking, you know what I mean? Like, we were choking it or not, man. We were, we were like green junkies, man. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was, man. Just blues and I had, like, stopped choosing party drugs or that Aye. by that time, really, man. What age do you think you started? What, using hot drugs? Aye. Oh, 13, man. Aye. 13, aye. And then by 14, hardcore, like, every day. I think I, I, think I took drugs every single day, if it, maybe, in, like, when you were on holiday or, or in the cells or something. <laughs> do you find it mental now when you look back on it? Too? Like, <laughs> aye, man. Aye, like, man. how am I still alive? It's, un- it's unbelievable, really. Especially the Ekkies, man. That, aye. that was fucking crazy at the time. But I've wrote a lot about that, and obviously it's kind of, I look at that as a kind of fun side, but it wasn't the actual one, it was the most serious one. 20, I took 25 Ekkies one weekend, man, I sat and counted them on, I was like, oh, fucking hell, sir. He's like, you took 25? And I'm like, I know, sir. Fuck it, you go anywhere. <laughs> That's what it was like, but you, t- you tell young ones that now, and they're like, 25, because it's 10 or ones, you know, but it's like four or five times as strong. Right. We were like taking fucking arrow woods and all like ravers, know what I mean? Into that, and then just chasing Aye. the fucking the stratosphere, man. And then you're you're kind of no. immersing that with the gang culture side of things as well. I know, which I is you see a lot of violence in some ways, man. Because that was like the young, the, the most violent. I think was the young stuff, right? Mm-hmm. When you were on the streets and all Aye. that, and then like you migrated into gaffs. Aye, you know what I mean. And it was then it was hardcore substance abuse, man. Taking loads of classes and fucking drinking all the time, drinking into really like four four days sitting sometimes. Aye. I was sitting Monday, Tuesday, man, sitting right upside down with guys that were like heroin addicts and like just guys that were like proper, like right. fucking sitting in doses and right. that. Like, you ended up, it was that bad. And I don't think a lot of my pals went doing that. I think they would just go home, mate. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I had something inside me that was like, don't get home, man. Mere drugs, mere drink. Right. Just go for it, fuck it. And then you don't go know what for I was that running too. for, mate. I was running for myself, mate. I was just running away for myself. I don't know why, man. I just, I had to stop, man, put the brakes on. Right. Did you always, mm-hmm. it's even like then when you were younger and you you have all your issues at school and all that and you were feeling, did you always think, I'm coming out the other side of us? I'm 100% coming out the other I side of us? So, no? no, no, I think there was times I actually didn't think I would, man. I didn't think I'd make it because mm-hmm. honestly, mate, I've just, I was so, re- I think it's because my dad died young. Like, right. My dad died when I was a wee boy, man. Mm-hmm. I think that just reprograms your mind, mate. You know right. what I mean? And I think that's why, like, I remember I walked into a gaff one night and it was a 70 CL I got in certain night and I right. just went like with a pint glass, man. Whew, full pint of vodka, scooped it, man, and then done the other half. And my mate just sat and I was like, I seen she looked and she's like, You've just drunk a full bottle of vodka in fucking five minutes. What are you doing? And I was fucking paralytic, you know what I mean? Woke up on my floor, right? Some kind of like carried me home and all that. I was, I was fucking reckless as fuck, man. I was crazy, man. Didn't get a fuck about myself. I no, like, didn't get a fuck. I was mental. Didn't get a fuck about myself. I thought I died, man. It was. And did you bad. ever stop at the points and think, what am I doing? Or was it just a constant Moments, fucking... man, aye, when you were like that morning, man, aye. even I woke up, man, my mom was like, you were fucking unconscious, man, you could have died and all that, and I'm like, whatever, you know what I mean? Aye. But then, aye, man, you look back and you're like, what am I doing, sir? That's fucking, that's mad. There's loads of moments, man, you know what I mean? Aye. You're sitting in cells and all that, man, and you're getting charged, you know, you're up and all that, and it's stupid. Aye. See, when you had that button, you, like, if you're in a cell or when you'd been stabbed in that, they still never put you off, you were still kind of fucking... Mate, the story of me getting stabbed was fucked up, man, right? Like, I was actually in my third year of uni, man, doing mm-hmm. honours, right? And I was sitting in a gaff in the other day and a young team comes in that didn't really like us, man. And, like, I was quiet by that point. Like, Aye. I hadn't been involved in violence, really, for a few years, you know what I mean? Aye. But then it's like, Mavis, man, I fucking da-da-da, right? Mm-hmm. And I was steaming drunk, man, so I didn't leave. See if Aye. I wasn't drunk, I'd have left, right? Because, you know, the, the vibe changed, you I know can what I mean? tell. And then end up, man, fucking boy punched us, right? And I bottled them, man. And then fucking there was about 10 of them, man. I ended up getting bottle smashed or my head stabbed in the back of a wine bottle. Lucky one, bro, not me. Bad. Fucking hell, man. But after that, man, right? I went up the road, man. Drove up the road to Stirling, full of gear, right? And fucking mad with it, man. Just I scooped a bottle of MD and drove my motor, not me. Not just crazy shit. Like right that. after it happened? Just. No, fucking... man. The next morning, I just stayed, man. And just got full of it all night, man. And then just, but I was in some mess, man, honestly. Like, and then I drove up, man, and my mate's like, oh, off, mate, get that tap off you, man, doing the whole Martin Compton bit with his sister, you know what I mean? Check me, you know what I mean? He's like, mate, somebody's trying to bug you a few times, by the way. You've got to see your back, by the way. I've still got scars, man. Fucking hell, man. Mental, ain't it? 
imagine that man getting killed. Fuck, you're fucking in uni and all that, trying to change your life. Aye, at you that know, point when you're frightening, man. That was, it was frightening, bro. Like I sat and thought about it after. My pals were about to fucking do stuff and all that. They're like, I'm on my team, so I'm forget it, man. It's done. It's it's it. I think there's bits, there's bits in about when you touch on that. With shit like that happens and it turns into that never ending. Right, mate, that tits, man, tats, you've always got the maddest pals in the lap. Man, we're getting through doors and we're stabbing cunts. And my mom's heard that shit. No, I mean, cunts <laughs> on phones that like, I'm stabbing them and all that. Right, and the adrenaline's high, right? You're usually drunk, Aye. if not always drunk, right? Aye. And then the next day, right, you're sobered up, lick your wounds, and you're like, fuck it. Aye, it's done. It's done. Never ending fucking story, man, isn't it? With all that. But you day, man, like, I often said to myself, even in like years later, like, see all these people you fought with back in the day, what would you do if you came across them now? Do you know what I mean? And like, Aye. Do you ever bump into MD? I don't, man. I don't no. know why, man. I don't, I just don't see anybody, man. Aye. I moved away, you know what I mean? So Aye. I lived in London and all that and Aye. Like elsewhere. But I don't go into airdry boozers and all that, you know what I mean? It's no. like, I think you're just asking for trouble, man. See if you get Aye. your own watering holes, man, you're just asking for it, innit? It's, it's the same as like, it's going to happen. You sit at that party, there's always going to be one person in there that wants just to cause... Just like you, man, you know what I mean? Aye. Like, just because I don't want to be a mad one anymore, right? But Aye. you were a Sunday back in the day, do you know what I mean? Aye. And people take umbrage to that, don't they? Do people always I mean? want to challenge it. I know, you know what I mean? That one, it was like, that boy's brother had been bottled off one of my best mates, you know what I mean? So, Aye. They just never, it's just running round, man. It's, Daft, man. Aye. I've turned my back on all that, man. I don't, I, you know what I mean? You need, to, you need to make a decision. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Do you want to live a violent life and hear all that? Aye. My pal was telling me a story one night. He's like, this one stabbed that one, right? And my face must have just strapped. Aye. He's like, you don't care about it anymore, anymore, do you? It's like, mate, it's not, I don't care. Right? I care it's happening to people. Aye. But I'm not part of it anymore. I don't want to run about stabbing Aye. cunts. I don't think I'm a gangster. Aye. I'm 30 year old. Do you know what I mean? I'm not 15. Fuck, you need to grow up, and that's, man. That's grow up. You think of the consequences then, don't you? My pals that are still involved in all that are like organised crime. Right? They're selling drugs. Right? They're selling pills or drugs and they're involved with big boys. Right? Aye. I'm not, that's not me. Aye. That's not the young team. The young team, my auntie said to me once, she's like, see for a smart guy, you're quite daft, aren't you? She's like, there's a clue right on the title of that book. It says, the young team, you're not young anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I laughed, right? And she's like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Made me laugh, right? And I was like, she's right. What, what's beyond it, man? What's beyond the young team? Aye. I don't know. Do you think there is still as big a gang culture? I think, the kind of I younger think there's age? been a big wall. Right? I think for the, the 2010s, people mm-hmm. were like, the violence reduction unit solved gang violence in Scotland. Aye. I think they've helped. Right? But I think now there's a, there's a lot more powerful forces Aye. than their good works, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And it's cultural stuff. And I went on record, right, in the daily record, talking about it to the press, right, saying, all these young boys are calling themselves roadmen, right? But they're obviously fucking listening to grime music, rap music, come to London, right? Drill music, right? And they're being inspired by all that. Mm-hmm. The teachers say the same thing, mate. They've been seeing Aye. it for months, years, a couple of years that's been going on. And then now we've got young guys getting killed again. We've got loads of stabbings happening. Aye. It's coming back, man. It's cyclical. Aye. All the people are sitting, mate, on their thrones going like that. Scotland's fixed, man. You know what I mean? Scotland's a broad jail, like violence reduction and all that. And I'm like, people are fucking running wild. Aye. Lockdown and all that. All the coronavirus stuff, right? That's hit people's pockets, right? And then all the young ones, man. Mental, sir. Aye. And the thing is, as well, like, I was talking to somebody about it the other day for Police Scotland. And I seen, like, when I, like, I grew up in Balanoc in the East End, and you always. When you were 13, 14, it was always these 17, 18 year old boys that you looked up to and you thought were fucking amazing and look at them and then see you think about it now, you're like, what the fuck was I thinking? Because they, they've then <laughs> followed that path, stayed in that path, no went anywhere else, but you know yourself, she's a 13, 14 year old, you don't want to hear that. All you see is, I went, wait, they've got... Uh, and, and you follow talk that about line. high visibility policing, right? After something happens, we were high visibility gang culture, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Head to toe and fucking primary car, mera peaks, right? There was fucking hundreds. Of you don't see that anymore, no. right? But they're there, man. You just they don't see them, but they Aye. are there. You know what I mean? Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not happening, mm-hmm. right? Poverty's not going away. No, poverty's got worse. No, right? After the credit crunch, man. Now we're in fucking coronavirus. Now we're in Aye. Russia and Ukraine, right? Fucking cost of living. For these young guys, Aye. right? More poverty, more trauma, more violence. Aye. It's, it's a guarantee. So I, man, I, I think I, the pills that we need to watch quite closely, man, talk to Aye. schools, because that's where it's going on. Aye, and it's it's always going to be the breeding ground in I schools, know, because yeah, that's I've, where everybody's I've said that a few times, and people have leapt up to say, that's not happening, don't blame 
drum, grime music, and I'm Aye. like, I'm not blaming that. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's the same as me, man. They're young guys for a, an environment that have created art. Mm-hmm. But that's to say, but you know, there's no that much positive message in drill music when they're talking about stabbing fuck it, cunts, and you know what I mean? Aye. And selling drugs. Initiations but young and guys that. are like, they're not sitting running about selling crack on estates, but they're like, ah, sh- Wade in the pocket, Aye. right? Selling green, you know what I mean? Aye. Like, young boys are like sponges, man. They take it in, they don't process the way no. we do. We've got the fucking benefit of perspective, Aye. and we know, we know, like, there's no light at the end of that tunnel, man. No. You're always going to end up, man, in fucking big trouble, you know what I mean? If you're running about selling drugs. And you've just got tunnel vision at that age. That's your, oh, fucking... it's just your full of ego, man. You're trying Aye. to prove to the world that you're a big man. Aye. Do you know what I mean? 100%. And any real big man, when they get to your age, are like, ah, nah. Take a Aye. different road. Aye, I'm done with it. Unless they're still involved. You know Aye. I mean? Aye, exactly. Yeah, it is a choice, do you know what I mean? Like, I've got pals sitting in jail now, man. They phone me for jail all the time and I sit and talk to them, do you know what I mean? But like, Aye. we're just off to different roads. Because you've done a lot of work with like the violence reduction unit and that, haven't you? Less so them, man. More so like, just independently going into prison and teaching Aye. English, man, and teaching the young team stuff. And fuck, it's amazing going into prison, man. How do you find it in there? How's the interaction? It's tough, man. It's tough. The environment, st- I don't think prison's a, a nice environment for anybody, man, whether you're visiting or fucking, you know, Aye. just visiting and you're in jail. Mm-hmm. But there's a, it's a lot easier going into a prison than it is in a school. Because they guys actually have chosen to be there. I made a joke right at the beginning of that and said, oh, it's a captive audience, but it's no man. They've chosen Aye. to do education. Aye. They want to be there. And fuck, you'll never meet a mere obliging and interested and genuinely grateful group of people. Than, like guys in jail. Then some of them are lifers, you know what I mean? Aye. You know what I mean? They've got fucking 23 hours a day to sit and think about things, know what mm. I mean? And fuck, they're like scholars, mate, and philosophers, know what I mean? Aye. One of them took my breath away the, the other week, man. He's, he's like, ah, mate, your journey's like the hero's journey, right? And the hero's journey's like a very complicated literary fucking thing. Right. And I'm like, oh, where did you fucking hear about that? I was like, I don't even know much about that. Like, I, and he's like, oh, no, I read a book about it, man. And I was like, thank you for saying that, bro. That's one of the most honest things anybody's ever said to me. Mm. You know? I don't think it's true. I don't think I'm a hero, man. But it's, it's this full, like, you need to go through hardship, man, and then you come out the right. other side. It's mad, man. But then right. I suppose if you're in that, if you're in that position, and it probably, it's again, it's that Scottish thing, I play things down, you would be that hero for people because you've, you've had that, that you followed that curve to a point and then you've made your own curve. Whereas obviously they've, they've struggled to break it and they've kept going. But, when they speak to you and the, even when you read the book as well, you get that impression right through it. Like mm. you, you can see the kind of, see the curve of whereas he's gone to then, there's a kind of line here and he's, he's away. One the of other his man, he stood at the back before, like, he was obviously the guy that was on shift at that time, right? And he stood up, the, it was six classes, right? And he stood there for the full six. Right. And see you when he come up to me right at the end, he's like, well done, mate. Honestly, I think you've made a difference in here. And another one of them, man, come up to me. And I'll screw right, and he was like, by the way, I'm not kidding, I've seen big changes in some of the boys in here, and I would put it in your book. Mate, that's fucking, that's, that's mad. Aye. When you walk into Berlin, man, you get to that twice. It's big, man. It's big. Aye. And it, that's, it helps people, man. Well, that's what you said at the start, it's taking a small wins, isn't it? That, that, that's mate, the main things you want to... For me, that is, man. Right, and I, you get treated like a celebrity and all that, and I don't think of myself, I don't consider myself like that. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Especially now when you go into Berlin, you know what I mean? Mm. Know that you would last long, mate, if you did. Fuck's <laughs> <laughs> it. It's a tough crowd, you know what I mean? But like, you buy, you just buy, you build value, mate, by just being yourself. Right. I just tell them, man, right? I just tell them the full sketch of what we've been talking about. My dad died, man, right? My mom brought me up on her own, right? I struggled, man. I was fucking in, involved in gangs and drugs. And then I had that moment, man, where I found God, right? And changed mm-hmm. my life and went uni, man, and all the rest's history, you know what I mean? And I was like, and it's not just me that can do that, right. you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people are cynical and they go, oh, Graham, no, everybody's got to write a book. And I'm like, I'm not telling everybody to write a book. But there's something that they can do, man, that's better than what they are doing. Because nobody aspired to be in jail. No, no, and you can choose your direction to go anywhere, can't you? It doesn't need to be a book. I don't know, though. Be... Sometimes, man, like Cal and Hutchison and that, they argue, they say, my, my aspiration was to go to jail. And in that in that respect, I was very successful. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's straight capo, and to Because when you're a wee guy, you think people have been to jail are mental. Aye. Rather just daft. Aye. Because see, when you walk in, man, and you look at the guys, they're, they're not like fucking career criminals and masterminds. Do you know what I mean? They weren't robbing banks, mate. They were like, you know what I mean? It's just it's stupid things, man. Aye. I went out mad with it, man. Got involved in violence, man. Somebody got hurt sometimes, somebody got killed. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? John Carnockin, right? Head man of the VRU, right? He started it with Carl McCoskey. Very nice guy, right? He's one of the top murder posts in Glasgow. He's like, prison, people who commit murders are feckless and stupid. 
They genuinely are. Aye. You know what I mean? Because they've just done. It's not like I've people think jails are for master criminals, man. It's, they're not. Not they're at all. People had a heavy hard life, man, and they've Aye. just made a decision about something. Moment I read Mist, I read Mist, took boys, right, drunk, you know what I mean? Put a fucking shank in your pocket, man. Aye. It's crazy, it's a, It is, mate. It's a, it's, a, it's a tough environment to go into. I would, I would honestly, I think it should be mandatory for every MP, man, to go and like spend time in jail mm-hmm. and realise what the two faces of society look like. Aye. Because that's the, that's the end destination for a lot of guys, man, mm-hmm. that have had hard lives. And the thing is, you've got people in there, like, obviously when you go in and do your visits, that, that they want to change, that they want to... Turn stuff around and, and get yourself into a better position. Know, but mate. It's, it's just service, hard. mate. I consider it service. No, right. I mean, you go and do it. Aye, man. You're serving your community, man. Mm-hmm. And know they like the glitz and the razzmatazz. Like they, one of the papers asked me to do a big piece about my work in jail, and I said, no, man. Right. I know they weren't very happy about it, but mm-hmm. I'm like, no, man. It's not about that. It's not about me telling people I work right. in jail. It's about doing it. Right. And like at the end, right, I seen them all like fucking shuffling about, right? And I was like, ah, fuck's sake, what are they passing notes or something? <laughs> 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 and there's no white guy, just getting all the fucking chat, right? <laughs> and then one of them comes up to me, man. He's like, we just we signed a wee thank you card for you. Wanted to say thank you, man. Some of the fucking messages on it, by the way, they fucking make an onion cry, you know what I mean? Class, I'm not man. kidding, man. Right? It was beautiful, you know what I mean? Fucking touching, man. It's like treasure, mate. See wee things like that, they're treasure, you know what I mean? Well, that means more than speaking in the papers about it because it doesn't do it do you know what I mean it's people sometimes do things because they want to be seen doing them Aye. man but honestly like you don't go into Berlin because you want to be seen going into Berlin like Aye. even your last man it's hard Aye. you know what I mean I imagine it'd be a tough kick that is tough I've, I'm due into Pullman actually man it get cancelled because Covid and Covid you know what I mean it's been pushed Aye. back I've never been in but I'm due man that's just like younger isn't it man. what younger age group Hi, man Okay, for everybody that's been in jail right I never went to jail right but my pals that went and they were like mate Pullman's fucking tough yeah, they will be a tough crowd but they're like mate they're good it'll be good to do that aye do you know what I mean because that's it that's the early intervention stuff they boys haven't they went as far they're short sentences aye. Mm-hmm. like obviously you're not going to teach a life or nothing they don't aye. know about life aye. do you know what I mean that's more about just going on that journey with them man mm-hmm. you know what I mean but young ones they're, they're going to be out mate in the community man aye. a few months aye, back up to madness make a decision to do something I think, mate, you give permission. <laughs> it's like you give people like the permission to like be their cell, you know what right. I mean? And like say they realise I think deep down, man, we know, right? I don't want to be a drug addict, I don't want to do that, right? But if everybody else is doing it, it's fucking hard. Right. But see if you if they see somebody, right, that's actually a peer, right? Somebody that they identify with that speaks the same as they do. Mm-hmm. Like I've not got a BBC voice. Right. I just talk like this on the right. BBC when I'm on the BBC because that's my voice. Mm-hmm. Right. But they see somebody else doing it and they're like, that's all right to do that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think that's I think that's the mentality. Aye, that is. I think that's how it helps. 100% you know I mean? because it's, you're not changing who you are, whatever you're I doing. Know, but it's the group fucking pressure, you know Aye. what I mean? That's hard. No, everybody's like, people are like, no, everybody's just strong as you know, but I wasn't as strong. If I was Aye. strong, I wouldn't have done it in the first place. Aye. Right? I had to, like, it was a survival thing, do you know what I mean? Aye. I don't know, man. It's mad. You don't know what impact you're going to have. I met this young boy once, right, and I, honestly, man, I just, I was fucking sure he was going to commit suicide. I don't know, I had a pure feeling, man. Right. And he's like, I mate, I've, I've tried to kill myself a few times and all that. And I was like, let me send you a book, right, just read it, man, see what you think, right? And he read it, man, and you know what, he's like doing amazing now, and he's got a family now and all that, and like, he's dead stable. And I'm not saying that was me, but Aye. I'm just saying there's things, mate. Aye. Do you know what I mean? It can change lives, and a book changed my life, so. Mate, 100%, and you I, know, I, you've got a chance sometimes, man, it's a privilege to do that. When you, know? you and I said that to you when you come in, like, see when you, see when you read it, and I'd, I'd urge anybody that, that hasn't read it to read it, you are taken back to when you were a wee guy, and, like, as I say, I grew up in Balana, it wasn't a lot of money, it wasn't a lot of, I played football with your pals and hung about, I wasn't in a gang as such, but you watched all these guys and you're like, ah, fucking hell, man, they look cool. And you, that, that, that was seductive, your whole life, mate. that's seductive, your whole life, seductive, man. man. That is seductive, Aye. right? Because it's like all these rappers and all that, right? In London, man, don't, they're not fucking selling drugs, man. Aye. They're not having comfortable lives now. Aye. Professionals, you know what I mean? With record deals and all the rest of it. It's an illusion, you know what I mean? Aye. A lot of it is. And just the same, but like, it was no illusion with us, do you know what I mean? We Aye. weren't doing it for money, man. It was sport mm-hmm. up here. It was like gladiator and shit, do you know what I mean? It was, man. It was no, like, you know what I mean? It was no, like, you know, I don't know. We just didn't have any money, didn't we, Aye. man? We didn't have any money. You like, made your own entertainment. I know, man. We were proper working class people, man. We just like if my mom gave me a tenner, man. I thought it was fucking flush. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Instead of a fiver, I thought it was flush. Because I had, I'd been putting my fucking lunch money in my soak all week to pay my tax. You know what I mean? And 
store that man. We just we lived very basic lives, you know. What I mean, that's why 100%. I love like PC DJing and all that because it was no money, man. Aye. It was reflective of the life that we lived. Aye. Like we weren't, we didn't have. I didn't have a watch. No, Fuck, I didn't get a watch until I was fucking twenty five or something. No. Just to- totally different now, but man. I take my kids out shopping. I'm like fucking hell, man. Do you know I was your I age? Know. You used to go to like. <laughs> I still remember, right? <laughs> going for your school uniform, you picked up like two brands, you're like one or the other, and you're like, fuck's sake, man. Pick one thing, whereas kids now are like, anti flannels paying £400 for I a know, t shirt. Man. And... I know, no, see, like, if, honestly, but I tell you, I see if I had a thousand pound phone in my pocket, it would have been in cash generators directly, <laughs> man, and eating that a great weekend, and then it would have been like a fucking Lycran mobile, you know what I mean? <laughs> That was the life we live, man. I didn't, I didn't get a smartphone until I was like 22, 23. My Aye. sister just said to me, you need a fucking smartphone. And I'm like, what for? <laughs> we just didn't Aye. go, mate. Why I didn't go to the pictures for four years, you know that? I actually worked out and I'm like, I didn't even go to the fucking pictures. I didn't even leave the scheme, man. <laughs> I just sat, man. Like, see, people don't realise how bad it was, but it was bad. Fuck you know what I mean? Man. We just didn't do nothing. We didn't live. We just sat, mate, chasing the fucking buzz every weekend, man. Like, I think, do you know what? See... In small towns, Aye. they do that, right? And we were for a village in a small town, so it was even worse. It was Aye. like a goldfish bowl. I know guys that have never left that village. They won't, mate, they'll never leave. Right? Aye, just, it's like Shutter Island. Aye. Institutionalised, they're just staying there. They're just staying there, mate. I still see them walking to the shop, man. Right? And they're just, they're just going down to get skins, man, and then walking back up, you know what I mean? They'll never escape, bro. No. That's wild. They don't want it. They don't know anything different, man. Aye, that's born it. in that captivity, that, mate. See people in the town, right? Even people I know, man, like James Price and all that. Even I see him talking about the town, I'm like, fuck, he's a right city slicker, man. I'm talking about, <laughs> right? I don't feel that, right? Like, obviously, I come into town and all that, but Aye. it's different, man. It's weird, mate. Yeah, I, suppose... I don't think I spoke about it a lot. Do you no. know what I mean? Like, nobody would admit to it, man. I would admit to it. No, I mean, I'm like, people are your country bumpkin and all that. <laughs> We're not a country bumpkin, you know what I mean? It was the other day, right? It was urban, man, but it was, I don't know, it's quite I isolated, bro. People will stay in that position, <laughs> they won't miss what they don't know. That's, so, it, that, that's their world and they just don't move about the same way they're most confident man Aye. like see when we came through mate it was like an invading army man we got <laughs> a club and all that and we never get in man we, not, we never get in <laughs> do you know what I mean we, not, we just didn't live bro we didn't live you know? I'm t- I've been trying to make up for that Aye, you know? since. Aye, it's difficult when you're older but it's, it's not the same man everybody's married and all that and get kids and life changes four year on you've got all these fucking films that have come out and you're like I've not seen any of them <laughs> Mate, I know, just everything, man. It's mad. That's how I think in a lot of ways in the young team, man, later on, especially as he's quite philosophical, right? And I don't, I don't apologise for that because that was, man, like you were in, you're almost like a prisoner, right? As he's trying to free his mind Aye. before he frees his body and he frees his, his life, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And that, I like that bit when they're on the train, man, and they're, him and Monica going for a wee date and that, right? And obviously that's quite a big deal for him because he doesn't go out a lot, you know what I mean? And all that. And he's obviously nervous because he's got to sit with her uniforms, Aye. right? But he's talking about flying for the stratosphere, you know what I mean? And you know, right, and it was like because it was the Ekkies, you know what I mean? That's right. That's how he, that was his get out of jail. That was his elixir, you know. What but I mean? that that yeah. that chapter <laughs> when they, they two guys are pricks, that's how you would imagine that playing out. Mate, my mate read that. They went uni. He's like, I was fucking raging. Reading that Aye. by the way, he's like, I just met so many of the guys, man. Aye, the pricks, man. They just look at you. They they would never try and like. They'll not try and like take a swing at you. No. You should let on them, man. Saw the background. But they'll make you feel like fucking Aye. that big. You know Aye. what I mean? And run you down and make a cunt of you and dead subtly. I mean, that's all. We need to deal with that. Because we were the guys that gave him a hard time in school. Aye. If they went to a comp school, Aye. you know what I mean? Aye, man. You feel like, I said that you feel like a fucking leper because you didn't go skiing and all that, man. Aye. But it's, live that life, bro. You know what I mean? It's the seizure your mate calls it. Oh, you're reading it and you're like, oh, fuck. Fucking hell, man. Pricks, aren't they, oh. man? It's just subtle, man. Nothing really happens, man. But as he knows, he's like, see if I hit one of them, I'm an ar- I'm the arsehole. You've proved a point. That is, man. You just, it's like a fool. But think about it, like, you know, we don't dress the same as them, so right. you either turn up a wee bit too smart or a wee bit too needy. Aye. They're just like the check shirts and all that and looking a bit suave, you know what I mean? With the hair up and all that. And the wee accent. That's it, man, isn't it? We'll never ever blend. No. That's what uni was like, no. man. And you know what? See, even if they're actually all right, within five, ten minutes, they're like, how many people did you stab, Graham? <laughs> you know, and just like, they want to hear the fucking <laughs> mentalness and, and like, you know, and, the, and then they start trying to tell you there, we meant, oh, I get in a fight in Val d'Azur, man. You know, we were in this fucking after ski fucking bar. <laughs> And I'm just sitting thinking, bro, I don't need to hear about fucking fighting. Like, you don't, you don't need to impress me. Aye. Fuck, I don't want to hear about that. I loved it for You're years. You're a badge off you. Just chat, man, just talk. <laughs> nah, man, and then you end up feeling isolated and all that, and you just don't, you don't, you don't mix again. But then it's you go back cool. to the scheme and you're sitting with all your pals like, lad, man, we're fucking selling gear and all that, and you're like, fuck's sake, man. Piggy in the middle, bro. You're somewhere in between, aren't you? 
It's fucking hard, man. That's why you end up sitting on your own, mate, just being a philosopher and just being a gaff philosopher. <laughs> Aye. You're just sitting here in gaff, just thinking about stuff. And that's what pricey, man. He's a gaff philosopher. Aye. He's like, no, I mean, he's brilliant. I don't know, mate. You know what I mean? How is um, how is it actually putting the young team down in paper and getting it out? What were the challenges for you? Oh, mate, that took years, man. Aye. That took years. Right that moment, right after I got off drugs and all that, was I telling you about, right? Like, that's when I started writing. Because mm-hmm. I was, man, social distant, right, 2012. And then I start writing furiously, man, and just mm-hmm. putting all that energy withdrawal down on paper, right? And then um, I submitted it for my, my dissertation, right? And I passed and all that. They encouraged it, right? right. Back for masters, right? But after that, I was an art year, right? An art degree, done that. Brilliant, right? Amazing. And then what? Sell motors. Right. Selling motors for five years, working in retail stores. Mm-hmm. Just working away, man, grafting. Rejection, rejection, rejection. They, they wanted it, mate. Aye. They didn't believe in it. Aye. They didn't believe in me. I was just committed to the smoke, man. They, they didn't know who I was. Aye. And it took so, <clears throat> seven years all in, man. 300 rejections. 300? 300, mate. Aye, because I used to send it 50 to 70 at a time, and I would just I would hit it, and then I would get bored, and I would sit off it for six months or a year, and then I'd go back to it. Right. So I 300 and I sat and read through them all like last year and I was laughing, man, just like how similar all the rejections were. Most of them were for language, mate. Was that because uh, it was written that connect, way? Man, I, I English know. audiences will struggle to connect with us. Fuck, I'm not writing for English audiences. I'm writing for fucking Aye. Airdrie Coat Bridge and then Aye. Glasgow and, you know what I mean, and spread. So it took years. It took and did years, you ever man. think, oh, this isn't going to happen? I'm not going to get this out. Once or twice, right. once or twice, but I just kind of, I couldn't think that way. Mm. I'd gone so far down that road. My mom said to me, she's like, do you know what? Nobody can take away from what you've done, right? You've got after drugs, you've changed your life. Nobody can deny it, but it's time now. You give us a bye. Right. Cause it's not going to happen. Right. Right? You need a job. It's going to, you know what? Mom's generation is very pragmatic, man. Right. If, you're, if you're not earning regular money and a regular job, you're not successful. Right. So you need work that you can commit to. Mm-hmm. I was like, mom, I've gone too far. I can't right. go back. Right. No, I mean, I'm not putting seven years into my life for something that's not going to work. Right. right. Then I moved to London. You know what? That started the energy, mate. You just, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and then I got signed. And then it was it was happening, man, so quick. Right. Do you know what I mean? Within that, man, within six months, that was it, mate. I was like doing in London and all that and mad, man. But seven years, know what I mean? For 21 years old, mate, and I was now 20, almost 29. Long time. That was like, it was like Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, took a long time, bro. What was it feeling like when it actually hit the shops? You're Surreal, man. It? Surreal. The, uh, the 5th of March, you know what I mean? 2020. Well, we were about to get fucking kicked me arse with COVID. But, <laughs> aye. Do you know what I mean? But no, mate, there's a, that picture, man, you used, right? Aye. That picture you used. Waterstones. For, aye, mate, and Waterstones. That was that day, mate. mate I, look, I look about five years younger <laughs> and I wait, just come off my chest, my shoulders, mate, and I just feel like, fuck, I've done it, man. I've done it, send, man. I know whatever happens, right? Whether it flops, whether it Disney, man, I've committed to do something and I've done it. It must melt your head, It but. was good, mate. The amount of feedback that you've got for fucking everywhere. Oh, mate, that was like the start, right? That day, I didn't know the fucking storm that was coming, man. My phone was like a switchboard. I'm not kidding, man. It was going nuts, Did man. you know think it would... How big did you think it would be at I that point? I didn't know, mate. I no. didn't know. Nah, I didn't have any expectations. I think it was all happening that quick. Aye. That I was just like, I just need to know fuck up. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if I go to London or I go to a talk and all that, mm. mate, and I was like fucking... I suffered with bad panic attacks Aye. and anxiety and all that. And for me... My mental health isn't in a good place at the time and it's like you need to sit in front of a hundred people and Aye. tell them about fucking all the trauma you've endured. And I was like, ah, man, I'm not gonna manage this. What are you doing, man? You just manage. You just you need to manage. Unreal. I mean, so got... it went nuts, man. I it was a busy, busy fucking... year. That full year just disappeared because it was locked down and all that. Aye. I know what I mean. So and then twenty twenty one, that that last year, man, was amazing, man. Mm-hmm. We're doing the short film stuff and all that. Scott and Dave documentary. Aye. So it was loads of film and TV stuff. Mm-hmm. It's fun, man. It's just like it's not as hard Aye. in some ways. And I'm not meaning technically, man. The art's mm-hmm. less hard. It's just like you're around people, you're doing things, you've got support. Like Aye. you're sitting writing a book, man. I didn't have any support. I was on my own. Aye. You know what I mean? So it was fun, man. I had fun. Way to Colors Fest and all that <laughs> with David. Right, my pal, man. And just like that was the first rave I'd been to. And I was nervous about it. And he's like, Aye. just come, mate, you'll enjoy it, right? And it was funny, man, because I hadn't even, obviously since I stopped taking classes, I never went to a rave again. Aye. But I was sober completely, man, standing that rave. But it was fucking mad, man. Still as enjoyable. Nah, I wasn't in the crowd, man, in the bear, but like mad. But like I was sitting with like, George Bowie and all that, man. It was it was fun, man. I think it was some laugh. 
That's so surreal. It's fun, man. It felt like full circle, you know what I mean? You're sitting on the stage, man, do you know what I mean? There's 5,000 people in front of you. I was like, that off, man. It was heavy, bro. Even you take it back yeah, for, like before you started writing the book, and that and that ten year turnaround, that's fucking insane. It's been a long fucking mission, man. Aye. Like I'm thirty one, man, in the summer, and it's aye, it's been fifteen years since I read Train Spotting, man. So it's been a fifteen year mission, really, man. That was the start of the mission. It was that way. My whole my whole wife became a mission, man. But it's good. It's have... amazing, but the impact that one book had. I know, man. Just kick Life started. Changing, bro. That's how, like, when people, you know, it's not delusions of grandeur when I say I think mm. books can change people's lives. I've experienced it. Aye. I went for nothing, man. I mean that. Nothing, like, you know, disregarded. You know, teachers winking at you when you feel the jams to, you know what I mean? Like, Times bestseller, multi-award winning, international best, <laughs> you know, international <laughs> success. Somebody described these that recently. I was like, what do you mean international success? And they're like, well, you've published books in four other countries, aren't you? And I'm like, oh, aye. Is that, oh, fuck it, sorry, yeah. <laughs> the Italian, I've got a lot of Italian family, man, so I do, so, right. aye, man, so, like, they, uh, they went to, if I'm famoso, <laughs> you're famous in Italy, I was like, shut up, man, <laughs> I'm learning to speak Italian, man, I'm trying, so, oh, mate, so I want to go out there and visit, bro, I'm st- do you know what, I've took the took fit off the gas this year, a wee bit, mm-hmm. starting to live again, man, but then I think you've kind of earned that, relax, man, oh, aye, aye, mate, just write and relax, and just be myself, bro, find out who I'm at after all the smoke settled you know Aye. it's good man feel good bro brilliant and uh you've been involved with Young Pricey doing Aye, a, a short film that was amazing man he's, he's so, he's so talented he's a, man he's always singing my praises too but honestly it's him it's people need to sing his praises you know what I mean because I don't know man he's just he's amazing bro he's got such vision man it's good as well because it's you feel like you're watching the book when you watch parts of it, see, and it's the wee daft things like, see, when the young guy is leaving his house and going to the other gaff and that, it's just that kind of, when he looks at the flowers and that, you know what his thought process is at that point, and then after a couple of days, he's fucking straight by. Do you, know what's, even look. Do you know what's mad emotional for me, right? Because see, see in the Young Team book, right, when he's talking about his, gra- uh, his mate's granny sis, that Aye. was me writing about my granny sis, right? It was me that had the garden and all that, and it was right. like, that's, that's where I spent a lot of my childhood. Aye. I just in a council school, you know what I mean, in her garden, but she was Aye. very like, Green fingered, aye. You know what I mean. And they, they're like, we found a location to film, and mm-hmm. it was my granny's street. You know what I mean. And I, I didn't tell them where it was, so it was. It felt very spiritual. You know what I mean that way. Oh, that's and weird. it was very touching for me, being like that wee alley. See that wee alley, the walk up. It's mentioned in a young team because that's when me and my sister used to play about in a skirt and on it. It's nice, man. It felt very man. like very full circle, bro. You know what I mean. So close to home, innit? it was, man. It was in our scheme. You know what I mean. It was filmed completely in Airdrie and Co Bridge, right? And it was just like. Young Kyle, man, Gordon, he's the next Martin Comston, man. Tell me, he's got, he's carried a big weight on his young shoulders, didn't mm-hmm. that? He's very crazy, the boy, not right? Aye. He's loved it, man. He's loving it. Love 16. Give people opportunities. Aye. That's, that's, a, that's the gift for me, and all, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, your, your art creates other art, man. And these people work, man. These people are shoe in, man. That's tremendous. You know? Who, um, who's giving you advice on your kind of journey that sticks out for you? Oh, my auntie, man. My auntie always, man. Aye, Aye mate. She just, she just very like me, man. My mm. mom, my mom, I'm much more closer to man in Aye. ways that a personality. Aye. You know what I mean? So anytime I was in big trouble back in the day, man, she was always the one who used to take me to lawyers and all that, right? And she was like, she was like the kind of fa- father figure I never had in a way mm. in the home. Cause I only had females around me, mate. I didn't have any guys in the home. Aye. My uncle passed. Um, but I, my auntie, man. And even the young team, right? It was written as free books. And I just kept trying to do this free books, free books. And she's like, ah, you just need to make them one book, you can't. And do you know what? <laughs> People had told me that, but I didn't listen to them, right? Aye. As soon as she said, yeah, I can't, I just, it just clicked, man, in my mind, I'm like, all right, sounded. And that's, so I looked to her, man. So I looked, I looked to my auntie, man. I still go back to her, you know what I mean? We talk, you know what I mean? Grateful for that. We used to do, sit and used to smoke fags again, but we're off, we don't smoke anymore, so, you know what I mean? But it's that still kind of smoking chat sort of thing. You know Even I mean? that line bit, it goes back to that. That's half your Glasgow thing when you say cunt in a good way. I know. Like, people would see me say that anywhere else, they're like, I just didn't sake. listen, mate. You know what I mean? But like, see, when I get expelled from school, she used to work in Coatbridge and she used to take me to school every morning, right? right. And she would give me a couple of fags at her packet, man, and we'd sit and smoke one in the water before I went out. You know what I mean? It's very close relationship, Aye. bro. You know what I mean? Very uh, lucky. I feel lucky. Definitely. You know Definitely. What, I mean? mm. what about kind of inspiration wise who inspires you? Oh, mate, loads of, loads of people, man. Like, Bryce is a big one, man, Aye. lately, man, definitely. Like, cause see, in the film and TV stuff, I don't really know that world. You mm-hmm. know, I'm very much in a learning role, man. When I watch people that are true, like, operators, Aye. you know, it's nice to be in a learning role, man. I think mm-hmm. 
sometimes people put you in the, the pedestal, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. they're like, they look to you and you're like, but who do I look to? I need to keep Aye. learning, man. I need Aye. to keep doing stuff. So he's been a big one. And then you're amazing. Uh, been a big one for me. Mm-hmm. Just a good pal and honor. I mean, Aye. genuinely somebody you can trust and Aye. talk to in an honest way. Mm-hmm. You, you can be yourself. Right. You know? So Aye, man. Been good. Good guy. Very good guy, man. So second book. Second book, I. How much can that, you tell us, or how much can you know can tell us, you, man? No, that's that's all me, mate. So that's that belongs to me. What was I going to say? Rave heart. And it's funny because I've seen people like a wee search trend, and it's like <laughs> Graham Armstrong, brave heart. I'm, they must not pick up my accent or something. No brave heart. No, I mean, I'll have fucking Mel Gibson at the top chat. <laughs> Coffee, right? No, I mean, no rave heart, man. So. But do you know what? I wanted to write something I light hearted, right? Mm-hmm. And I'd done all the heavy lifting with young team, right? right? I wanted to do something fun. So I was like, ah, Ray Fart, right? And I all started with this fucking idea. Who played the tunes in the time caps or Ice Disco, right? right? You seen it in the documentary, right? <laughs> but it used to have a wee DJ booth with neon lights and all that. And I was like, fuck, a story about that boy, man. It'd be fun, do you know what I mean? It'd be something weird. <laughs> And then it became kind of a bit like dystopian, man. It was 1984, so Rave gets banned, right? Aye. And like, this new Tory government company power, right? And they're dystopian, man. They're quite like, authoritarian. Aye. And uh, all the Scottish ones start like rebelling, man, against <laughs> this Rave ban, you know what I mean? And it's, aye, man, it's fun, you know? It's fucking massive. It's <laughs> massive. I'm actually still, I'm hitting 200,000 words. That's almost twice as long as the young team, man. It's about 600, 700 pages now, man. So Jeez. I need to cut that back, right? It'll never, that won't be that long. It won't let me do that. Right? But it's fun, man. So when are you hoping to get that out? Oh, mate, I'm hoping to finish next week. Right. I'm right at the end, but I've got this one me and my back that I need to dig, man. I need to dig in and just, just get it done, man. They're in the jungle and all that. So it's, I'm got, I've got uh, these wee picture, Wayne's picture books of the jungle and all that. So I'm going to sit and just talk about monkeys and frogs and all that and they've took fucking um bmt or something in the jungle so it's all <laughs> colorful and mental and mental man it's oh, good fun you know what i mean love that love that so um <laughs> obviously the position you were in you've wrote that book for scratch yourself what advice would you get md in that position who's maybe got an idea and they, they don't really they're not that well educated or they're, they're not sure where to go where, what advice would you give them in that position just keep going man and write 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 people always look for advice you don't nobody's gonna give you a, a sparky inspiration right. right that you've not got inside you man right. you've got the power to do it people come so lots of people have come to me and say would you write my book and i'm like bro only you can write your book right, right? so whatever and people are like, oh, but I'm not very good at English or spelling and all that. And I'm like, it doesn't matter, man. Mm. Fuck, why have I talking about this? We've got an editor for the right. Come check that. Right. If the book's good enough, mm-hmm. right? But just keep going, man. And do you know what? The first thing you finish, you look at it, right? And it's fucking huge. And you go, ah, that's fucking a lot of shit. But do you know what? It's mine, man. It's my Aye. lot of shit. And Aye. then do you know what? Your second one, which it was for me, right? Mm. I wrote that a week in a crime thing, man, before the young team, like fucking when I was in uni. And I was Aye. like, that's a lot of shit. Fuck that, man. Right? Die, man. Write it. Keep right. going. Don't stop. Don't be wary of writing advice, man. Because right. people are your advice. Right. You know what I mean? Are they qualified? I suppose the challenge as well is the one you probably face when you're getting all the rejections to keep, keep it's going. It's part of it, man. It's part right. of it. It's part of it. It's not like football, man. You're out kicking the ball about and you get scouted, man. Right. For a team. You're on your own, right. man. You're on your own team. So you just need to make sure it's good. But I think there's a there's a weird kind of balance, right? The people that think they're amazing are usually shite, man, and the people <laughs> that are fucking like, anxious are usually the ones that are actually because they, they care about it more. Mm-hmm. Like, they've put me at work into it. Who, that Julia Fox or something, and they said, oh, wait, what's your book? And she's like, ah, it's magnificent. If I don't, you know what I mean? If I don't say so myself, and she, it's probably a shite, Aye. do you know what I mean? Aye. Then you've got, you know, geniuses sitting in their gaff at prices, sitting scribbling things, and oh, that's all a shite, man. Aye. It's actual no, you know what I mean? I just keep working. Fuck it. That's it. Aye. That was oh, that's only like I was self taught, all right. People are like, oh, you done an English degree. Mm-hmm. That didn't teach me how to write a young team book. Aye. That just gave me credentials when I started doing master's degrees about that. And then mm-hmm. I was focused on what I was doing as I was like specialising. Mm-hmm. You know and I mean? a lot of people probably after reading your book, a lot of people would have probably went, Fuck, I need to have some balls to write a book like that. And I put hope, yourself out I there. hope people actually read that and they go, I want to write my book, man. I will. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll mentor that Aye. talent. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, don't, not, I don't think I had many pals or like people going like that for me. Oh, that's amazing. I had mm-hmm. a few people, man, in my corner, but no many. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Just the way it is, but Aye. I welcome the young, the next generation, man. Aye. I want to read a female young team book. Do mm-hmm. you know what I mean? If there's a lassie that they're listening to this and who's writing that book, get in touch. Do you know what I mean? Sure, like, it must be. I, just, I know, man, but it's, there isn't any, man. There's, there wasn't a young team gang no. boy book. There's so many, even you touched on it in your book, there's so many girls around 
the gangs and the I culture know, and I know, like Lassie sometimes say to me, Oh, he doesn't have a clue about Lassie's and I'm like, You're right. <laughs> what guy does, you <laughs> know what I mean? I didn't have a clue about Aye. young team lassies apart from trying to fire into them. Because <laughs> that was all we knew. Aye. Right? Obviously, some of them are part. I would say the Mavis lassies are probably madder than the boys, man. Aye. So just, all the birds happen to be mental. That's just the way it was. But I, one of the other books, man, the, the female experience of going through that life mm-hmm. must be so different. I mean, it's got different dangers and different challenges, all right. They're not pure fighting all the time, but they're, mm-hmm. they're in the periphery. And Aye. Sometimes our main characters, there's always that one mad bird in a scheme, man. The juggernaut in the track the one that everybody knew. 100%. There was, man. Everybody 100%. knows. There was, man. Everybody knows. The one you did any eye contact to school or that. Or like one of the, the good looking birds, what was their story going through it, man? I mean, the dangers, man, and all the challenges and all that. And a lot of the lassies now have got families, right? They've not got a voice. Mm. Do you know what I mean? They've not got the time or the energy or the will. Right. I would read that book, man. 100%. You know? 100%. There's definitely one for every area in Glasgow. Every year you could pick out one. Going to high school, you're like, don't, don't look at her. It's, just, it's, it's the her. length, man, I think. It's Aye. the length that scales people. It's the journey, man. And it is mm-hmm. a journey, do you know what I mean? I, I don't know anybody who writes a book in fucking five minutes and then gets it published in five minutes. Aye. Lucky celebrities. Aye. Right? But like, when you start at our way, it's mm-hmm. just the road's long, man, and narrow. No? Aye. Fair play to you. Aye, man. Um, always ask everybody that comes on. Obviously, the whole point of this is to speak to different people in Glasgow that are doing their thing or they're in a job that they love. And I always ask my guests if they're MD that they know that they think would be good to come on and, and share their story. I don't know. I need to think about that one. Give me two minutes to think about it. You're editing this, aye? No, well, well, what we'll do, right? We'll go to the listener questions and then you can right. come back to it. Aye, go then. Um, right, this was one that I'd... Fuck it, I must have had about 30. Will the young team be turned into a movie or a Netflix show? Uh, it's it's going to be a series, definitely. I, movies is so hard, man, now, just because money. Aye. Right, all the streamers and all that, they want series and things mm. that they can spin it. So Aye. it's definitely going to be a series. Where it's going to be, I don't know. Right, but it is, it's ongoing. It's it's that script level now, so Brilliant. they're writing it, you know what I mean? It'll be fucking amazing. It's a long road, all that, you know what I mean? Aye. It's exciting, man, I'm excited. I, I think I've thought of the time and I go, fucking hell. It's not me, but that does it. I'm involved in it, but it's not, it's... I bet it started you know, like, from you. I know, man, I know, but then, you know, it goes to other people and it becomes a collaborative thing, Aye. you know? So it's... The people that are doing it are trustworthy people. They Aye. care about the story, they care mm. about the community, so... Yeah, that'll be tremendous. I know, man. So I'm buzzing about that. Um, somebody had asked, so I read the book, loved it. Can you ask him if he misses the gang culture anytime? Aye, 100%. No, like 100%. God, I think we all do, man. I think Aye. it was a panic, oh, man, sometimes in my life. And mm-hmm. I need to get out of that mentality because I'm like, there's more good to come. Aye. And I need to tell myself that sometimes because mm-hmm. it's been hard, man, all this, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But aye, man, God, I miss, I miss the, the troops, you know what I mean? I miss aye. just cruising about with fucking bowls of wine going nuts and just acting like a fucking ticket. I do, man, I, I do miss it, man. of course I do. We all do, man. I think we all miss it. Aye. Because it was three times everybody misses their youth, didn't they? Cause, 100%. You know, but no aye, worries. especially, there was no worries, even though we made it very difficult for ourselves, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> aye, man, I miss it. Of course Do you remember I mean. any kind of, like, really bad scrapes you get into? Oh, I like, they kind of stick out in your mind? 100% off. Loads of bad ones, man. That one I was telling you about, right? But like just a thousand nights, man, where Aye. it could have went the other way. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Loads of violence, man. Aye. Do you know what I mean? I, I've been writing the memoir version, man, and thinking about that. And I'm planning to go back to uni to do that as Aye. PhD, mate, as a Brilliant. doctorate, man. So but I counted them on. It was 16 instances, man, of violence I was involved in. Like, you know, where I was actually... It was could have went either way. It was me doing it, you know what I mean? And like, or getting seriously assaulted, you know what I mean? 16, man. It's quite old. I suppose, but after that kind of first time you go into a fight, the kind of fear factor goes a wee bit because you realise you're, you're not made a of glass. I you know what I mean? It's not like fucking, you know, James Bond shit, do you know Aye. what I mean? Like you're getting leathered, mate, sometimes, you know what I mean? And it doesn't always go your way, it doesn't, man. You know what I mean? I got Aye. a couple of bad ones. So mm-hmm. I, I try to do that in the young team, man. Realistically, Aye. in the young team, one, one boy gets stabbed and loses a life, right? Aye. A couple of people commit suicide, Aye. right? And then drugs and all that, but it wasn't like, you know, Top boy, man, we're cunts are getting shot left, right, centre. Do you know what Aye. I mean? It's not like that. No, that's not real. But you did get a fucking pasting sometimes, and I don't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably deserved it, you know what I mean? In direct ways. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a this is a hard question. 
a few people had actually messaged me this, and I don't know. I think it goes back to that thing of if you're in that if you're in that culture and you want to break away, because mm. I've asked, can you ask him for any books that would recommend for somebody to kind of start off with if they're looking to get into that? Life. Aye, aye, get into that kind of, Holy Bible. Aye, aye, man. For me, it works. No, I mean, but like I know, I know it's a hard one sometimes. But for me, honestly, I take a lot of teaching out of that. Mm-hmm. Aye, I think in Glasgow, I'm more interested in telling if people are Catholic or Protestant than actually <laughs> than actually opening the fucking book and reading that. But aye. that's a good one. Do you know what? When you see all these movies like the Hurricane and all that, they mm-hmm. boys in jail and that can fucking tell you anything the Bible, man. I've read it cover to cover. Mm-hmm. There's, there's truth in that, man. Did you get a lot out of reading it I, yourself? I still do, man. Aye. I've not finished it yet, man. It's Aye. a long one. I mean, I dip in and out it, man, but I, I do, mate. I do read it, man. Mm-hmm. Aye, man, I get a lot of comfort out it. I've got, I've got quite a few tattoos, man. Under every single tattoo, I've got a Bible reference, man. So, aye. so aye, when I read it and I like a bit, man, i got it tattooed on me. So. Nice. I know, mate. Love it. Um... Aside train spotting, is there any other Orphan Welsh books that you really liked? Uh, <laughs> that's a hard one. I think, to be honest with you, train spotting was an absolute phenomenal book, Aye. man. And I think the other ones had their own purpose. Aye. You know what I mean? Um, it's better than the film. The film, I don't know. I thought the film was amazing, man. Aye. Aye I think the Danny Boyle film was amazing. I, the second one, I, no comment, you know what I mean? Aye. <laughs> felt like an homage. It felt like a celebration of train spotting rather than the story itself, you know what I mean? When, I thought porno was actually an alright book. Aye. And the voice changed and the writing changed a lot in that man mm. and it's like it almost makes you go like, oh fuck but that's a good thing man because he's not trying to just continue on mm. right it should be different Aye. albeit you know mascots man review uh, with Stuart Kelly was a uh, kick in the balls but let me tell you you should read the porno one if you think that was bad what did he say oh, I, I can't even mind he went in but trust me he went in does I've that annoy actual... you when you get him what when you get like a nah, short review does man, it bother he's, you he's entitled no I like Aye. it no I mean loads of people I got asked all the time as Arvin Welsh read it Aye. I don't know, know what I mean? Aye. It doesn't matter, do you know what I mean? It's not obliged to read your book, mm-hmm. right? Just because I like guys doesn't mean you like mine, Aye. you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. Aye. You need to separate the ego, mate, mm-hmm. for your work, for yourself, for your Aye. own benefit, man, because like, you, you think oh, everything you write is amazing. It's no. Aye. There's stuff I go through in the young team, and it, I want to pull my hair out, man, because I could do better now. I know I could. Aye. I'm still learning. Mm-hmm. You know, I was super young, man. I was only like, like 21, 23 when I wrote Aye. that, most of it. So Ray Fart, but it's a better writer. Somebody asked me that and it's a great question. Is that what's a better what's better written, Ray Fart or young team? And I'll tell you right away, man, Ray Fart, hundred percent. It might not be as good as I mate. Aye. Aye, definitely, man. It's an apprenticeship. We're always Aye. learning, man. Why don't you stop learning your fart? Aye. What are you doing if you're not learning, you're unlearning. Mm-hmm. You know? Hundred percent. Uh, can we expect an update on Azzy in the future? Don't know, man. Do you know what? I put pen and paper and I'm like the old team, right? And I, <laughs> I started writing it and I was like, oh, man, I could come back, right? And then I was like, what if you told it for the toys perspective, man? And it's like the young toy instead of the young team. And I don't mm. know, man. I don't know, man. Good it's to see where it goes. It would be interesting, you know what I mean? It would be interesting, but I don't know, man. I don't know if I've got the heart to go back into that world. In some ways, I think, just leave it, man. Do you know what I mean? Aye. He went to the horizon, he went to the sunset. Did he make it? I hope so. That's the truth, Aye. young. All Aye. these books end with an exodus, right? Train spotting, Kerry Hudson's book, right? Jenny Fagan, your, your main character removes herself from the environment, Aye. right? Did he make it or did he not? Aye. It's a mystery, man, because that's what it's like if you leave. Put it on the TV show. They want S2, man. They want season Aye, 2, you know what I mean? 100%. You know what I mean? Young oh, team 2, young team hard. I don't know where it'll come back, right? Do you know what I mean? Aye. There was, they were talking about just they were throwing things about, you know what I mean? And like maybe as he's in like that mentor and all, man, maybe he's into prisons and all that. And I'm like, oh, fuck, that sounds familiar. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? But I'd welcome that. That'd be a good test too, man. Do you know what I mean? And then, you know what? It's young boys coming up, man. And they're doing, and you're, if Aye. you're not a mentor, man, what are you? You're, you're just going down the road. I don't know. Mate, it's fun, man, but oh. I don't know. See all that when it goes on and on. I think that's all right sometimes. Mate, when I, when I finished that, I was like, ah, it's fucking nitty no now. You need to know where he goes, man. I went to London. Right? I didn't go to Paris with Monica. I went to London <laughs> with fucking Patricia. <laughs> you know what I mean? With the ring bird, You know what I mean? Ah. But one, that exodus was important for me. Aye. Even though I was like a nervous guy, man. I was mm-hmm. dealing with mental health and all that. And I was walking pure about London lost. It, it gave me a lot of confidence. Do you Aye. know what I mean? So it was good, man. I'd recommend that. If you're, if you're struggling in your own area, man, take a fucking move, man. Move Aye. somewhere. Just go for Just it. Just try it, man. Fuck. Did you like London? Did you enjoy living in it? I know. It's no. mental, man. No. Honestly, like, it was 40 degrees. Like, honestly, it was 38 one day in the summer, man. I, I bounced into my motor after it was 43 degrees. I lived in an attic room 
And I was just like sitting naked, man, just like, <laughs> fuck this place, man. This is fucked. This is terrible. Right? This is terrible. Right? But then the photo, like, I was walking about, man, cutting about London, thinking, like, driving by Wembley every day, thinking, I'm loving, man, I'm doing something. Aye. I'm not just sitting in my fucking area. Aye. Do you know what I mean? So I'd recommend it. Why not? Mm-hmm. It's not easy, man. Like, see if, you're, see if you're young and single, you don't have a family. Right, go for it. You, man? Maybe you might move up to Cumbernauld, man. It's doing a lot better up there, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? You just need to remove yourself sometimes to give yourself a fresh canvas in Aye. life. Aye, just go something different. You change, man. Like, mm-hmm. You change, you know what I mean? I feel like I changed in London. Aye. You know what I mean? So, it's a bit better for me. Mm-hmm. Love it. Uh, somebody's asked, well, you could cover this with Raveheart, but are you going to dabble in different genres going forward? That Is an offer you going to stick to the same thing? I think I'm already doing that, to be honest with you, Rave Heart. It is a different genre, Aye. man, right? Because it's comedy, man. I'm moving mm. into something that's weird and wacky and a bit, a bit nuts, man, Aye. a bit half the wall, you know what I mean? And Young Team's very serious. Mm-hmm. But then Memoir, man, I'm going to be going back to the heavy stuff and it's actually, there's nowhere to hide, it's the real, the real stories. Aye. And then the whole fall out of that, man, it's like you're writing about real people you know and all that and mm-hmm. real people have been killed and all that or killed themselves. And it's heavy duty, man. Mm-hmm. But aye, man, so I'm I'm going to enjoy this light relief, man, before I go back to the heavy stuff. But I'm doing, <laughs> hopefully doing that and as part of a degree. Nice. So that you've got uh, people in your camp, man, and you can think about it carefully. Aye. So it's, a, it's a serious project, man. Aye. It's an undertaking, you know. Would you would you recommend the uni experience? Fuck aye, man. Aye. Oh, fuck aye, man. If mm-hmm. you can pull yourself through a degree, man, 100%. You know I mean? Aye. Not even just for money terms, man, as if you... It's like a bit of a social filter, isn't it? It's like a fucking... A, a sieve, isn't it? And like, oh, you've been to uni, man, so you must have, you must be all right. Aye. You're doing it for yourself. Aye. No matter what, fucking... People can say I'm a dick or say whatever, right? But do you know what? I've still got a master's degree, right? Aye. I've still got a bachelor's degree, an honours degree, and I'll keep that, and I'll mm-hmm. have it till I die. Mm-hmm. And it was something for me. And that's Aye. the way I feel about PhD, you know? It's not just to call myself doctor fucking Armstrong. Aye. It's to just say that I did this and I wanted to do it and I committed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it will hopefully take me into, you know, I'd, I'd like that, man, to work in a uni and work with young people doing degrees and all that. Aye. You need more working class people in their roles, mate, because if they don't do it, then it's always going to be middle class. I just wonder Aye. sometimes if you walked in, you'd be at a private school and I was your fucking teacher, what would you think, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's something funny about that, like, you know what I mean? But I've got the credentials, man, I'm a professional, you know. Why not? Like, exactly, man, it's that, that's that mentality. Aye. Right? But they do well to listen to me, mate, do you know what I mean? I know, I know what I'm talking about in this world. Mate, they would listen to you be shitting yourself. I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm private I'm school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's more what their parents would think. They wouldn't think they're getting value for money, maybe. No chance. No <laughs> chance. Right, I need to ask you about this because you brought it up <laughs> before we started. You used to do car sales. Aye, man. There's got, to be, there's got to be tales. 100%. In this cutthroat industry. 100%. Fucking loads of stories, man. Loads of characters, right? What, what other industry, right? Tell me, man, because I want to know, can a boy, right, walk out with any standard grades, right, put a suit on and be earning 60 grand a year, right? Because, honestly, and not even that, but cruising, man, right? <laughs> Fucking cruising. And I've seen it here, right, Glasgow, Stirling, London, man. I've seen it all the place. I love it, man. It's a great industry. If you if you fucking stack in at it, you know Aye. what I mean? But definitely, I'll be covered to it. That's my next one. As soon as I finish reading part of money, that, man. I have started it. Put pen to paper, so. Just basing it on... Your your journey, no, a faction, man. Aye. Definitely a faction, and it, and it would need to be like a big multi multi car franchise place. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Selling all the brands, you know what I mean? And like, I just there's loads of stories, man. Loads of funny stuff happened. You know what I mean? Loads of stuff, and just it's a fucking bear pit. That's what I do well, man. Like Aye. multiple speakers, right? Rave hearts like that, man. Rave hearts written as a playmate in a mm-hmm. lot of ways. It runs, it reads like a drama with Aye. all the names at the side and all that, and it's purely because there's fucking ten of them and they're all talking all the time. Aye. It's very much part, 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 and that's what sales is like and all. But like customer and all that, just a lot of funny interactions and what can go wrong, man. Aye. I remember one of my first sales, right? The guy had a fucking private reggie, man, and I'd done the two transfer wrong, and he lost his plate, right? And he'd had it for fucking 12 <laughs> years, right? And his daughter had bought it, you know what I mean? And it just went on and on, and I was like, fuck. I'm so fucking a day, I'm sorry, it's gone, the DVL, I've got to, you need to buy it again. Right, and the garage had to fucking go and pay the money to buy it, just stuff like that, the chaos you can fucking Aye. cause in motors, it was fucking unbelievable. <laughs> and me at 23, I didn't know what I was doing, so I was just like, I had the tie on, you know what I mean, but I didn't have the fucking clue, you know what I mean, but it was fun, man, it was fun. And I was doing, I was back selling motors last year for a while, man. I Hardcore did. environment, but in it, it's... Aye, mate, it's stressful, man, but mm. like... 
just some of the scenarios the managers are all old dogs no i mean they're all mental man and they like the guys that taught them were fucking radical you know what i mean like <laughs> <Yeah>. anything <laughs> went back you do you know what i mean like one of my bosses he's like i had no clark he sell used to come run man i bought a whiskey and a ham a leg of ham at christmas know what i mean <laughs> And I was like, well, can we expect a whiskey and fucking ham? And he's like, can you fuck? You know what I mean? But it was, it's that changed days, you know what I mean? It was old school business. But there was loads, man. I just, honestly, my mind's a wash with stories of it, man. I used to remember going in to look at a car and like before you'd even go near the price line, I was like fucking four people around you, like a swarm, man. And see if you do it right, it's like, it's like fucking uh, Swan Lake. Aye. Honestly, man, you just ballerina right up to him, <laughs> whip of the pen, man, boom, 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 you do it, man, and you just sing. They're like, ah, that guy was amazing, I had a lovely experience. And then he sent you a card and I bought a wine and all that. And it's just, oh, it goes so smooth, right? But like, when it doesn't, it goes cataclysmically wrong, man. <laughs> right? Like, there's so many, man. And honestly, it can be the nicest people sometimes just turn on you, man, right? Like, this one woman, right? She bought an Audi one, right? <laughs> and I'd said, I all dairy wheels, right? And, Sales fucking salesmen make promises like they're fucking getting away smarties, man. Just I'll ah, I'll I'll do the wheels, I'll fucking mats, whatever, whatever you need. I need that signature. Did I do the wheels? Did I fuck? Right. She turns up with a fucking boyfriend, right? All dressed up. People dress up when they're coming to pick up a new car. It's a, it's a big deal, it? It is an occasion, right? It's the second thing, biggest thing you'll ever buy. Aye. If you're normal, Aye. right? Like no buying speedboats on it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I forgot to do the wheels. They looked as if they'd been fucking chewed with Jaws at James Bond, right? Curb fucking surfer, right? She fucking exploded, man. Right, kicked me in the balls, shouting in the fucking... Honestly, man, it was in, in the forecourt? No, I didn't even mean she kicked me in the balls, but she kicked oh. me in the balls in the survey and just kicked oh. me in the balls, man, and that manager and all that. And it's just a big fucking scene, you know what I mean? And I'm sitting like, that. oh, fuck. Jesus, just, man. If you make a promise, you need to deliver and we just... You know what you need to learn to do? Keep a diary, man. Somebody I know the stuff you've agreed to. He's like, young man, let me give you a bit of advice, right? The shortest pencil's better than the longest memory. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 right? There was loads of advice that floated about these places, not that, right? And it's a pure mix. It's like a microcosm, man. Aye. But down in London, man, that was fucking mad. Copy me, white boys. 100%, mate. Do you know what I mean? But do you know what? I think, actually, man, we dealt with a lot of people that weren't from the UK, right? Aye. Nationally, right? And you're like, they just liked me because I wasn't English. Do you know what I mean? They did, man. <laughs> just they wanted to do business with you. They trusted you. Aye. A lot of them thought I was from Northern Ireland. They don't expect Scottish people to sound as harsh as we sound. <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, you're Northern Ireland? And I'm like, no, no, fuck, I'm Scottish, man. And that was that. So done the business, you know what I mean? But I had a few fucking howlers down there and all, you know what I mean? You always do. Aye. The boys, man, that did the... Uh, the, the, the violin man they were they were all african boys man mm -hmm. and fucking the only way the only way you got a favor of him was if you it wasn't he what's it done the talking it was bulls man <laughs> she's a half decker man in the pocket if you wanted something done and he would do it for you so very really in delay man but it was class man i did enjoy it <sighs> mate that's another book that's First, I earned money cool. man a few months i actually done all right it's got to say that if you, money, if you man, sell the right, aye, man. and you could sell yourself a motor aye. so you could get a nice motor man it's cheaper so which was good I want to read that now. Aye. I, I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know about the title, man. I, I like to start. I start with the title, man. That's my kind of eye, man. A lot of people think of the title later, but I don't want like, an unnamed child. Do you know what I mean? Mate, I'll get about 90 miles after this. Like, ah, fucking. There's, there's your title there. It's just like, I, I don't know. I just think it's fun, man. There's something fun about it. Like, I want, like, I think you need to mature, man, and we get out and all that. And I think it's more about people and about, like, the hostess, right? Aye. And like the lassie bind in the service, and like Aye. everybody's got their own wee lives, and mm -hmm. you're in this fucking greenhouse, man. Aye. You know what I mean? People Mate. are coming in, and it's like the, the sales kind of techniques and all that, and that's the fucking... finance. I don't know. That's what? another TV show, no? Could be, man. Could be. I heard people, people heard me talking about it, and they were interested in all that, but I'm like, no, man, I want to write the book. No, Aye, I mean, I want to do the justice in the book. Aye. Man. And the internal, and I, I always thought about it, it's a young boy that joins the garage, man, and he's gone through the full thing, not I mean, the training and all that, the fucking trainings, man, the <laughs> mental stuff. <laughs> Loads of stories. Class, man. <laughs> right, have you got any guests you can think of? Do you know what? You, I don't know, he doesn't come up to Scotland much, right? He's from London, man, my pal Gabriel Cruiser, right? He's, he got long-lasted for the man booker, right? Mm -hmm. Lived the road life in London, man, right? He's obviously changed his life, wrote a book about it and all that. If you can get him up, man, he'd be a very interesting guest, man. Because the guy's just... You know, I listen to him talk all day, man. He's Aye. a good mate. He's a great guy, man. Uh, he's writing. He wrote his book, Who They Was, man. It was multi... Uh, he was 
long list of fucking Aye. Dylan Thomas, loads of prizes. Aye. Right? It's getting made into a TV show and all that. It's, it's like Top Boy, man. I would say it's probably right. more authentic in some ways. Nice. Because he actually lived that life and done it, man. So. Nice. It's worth nice checking out, man. He's a good pal, you know what I mean? A nice guy. Aye. So. Challenge accepted. Aye, man. He's he would get a good interview. Mate, this has been brilliant. Mate, Hannah, thank you for having me, man. Thank you for coming on. As I say, the, the, the book's fair fucks to you, man. The book's amazing. It, do, it you, does mate. make you think, like, you go through it and you relive all your kind of, your teenage years thinking, fucking hell, man, I'm, I've actually done all right. When you read, because you, you've seen all the different things at different know, points of your life. Different lives in it, man. Aye. It's like where the, where the lives all go, man. It's like, what interests me now, Mel's post young team, man. Where do you go after that? Aye. You know what I mean? Where do the lives end up, man? Mm. And you know what? That's why I think the young teams were such a big thing, because a lot of the lives weren't startling, mate. No. Just, they kind of faded away in the, the glory days was the young team. Aye. Youth and all, man. But aye, man. So I think Raveheart, different enterprise, man. It's going to be fun, man. Superb, aye. mate. So, Buzzing for it. Thank you. Thank mate. you again. What a best, bro. Cheers. Thank you. Mate.